Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Me, Victor, or you can check my channel in the description named V's, and my sister. Hi guys, I'm Moni. We are Compare Kids. Kids. We will be reviewing different types of sushi rolls from this restaurant called Ariyoshi. The first one we have here is the California roll with crab and avocado. The next we have is tuna, which obviously has tuna. And same here, except it's yellowtail, which has yellowtail fish. And here we have salmon. And the next we have the spicy tuna. And right here is a roll we've never had before. It's called the sunny side roll, which consists of salmon, yellowtail, cucumber, avocado, crunch, which is fried batter from tempura, special sauce, and masago, which is capelin fish. Yeah, okay, so, by the way, these are all regular rolls from um, Ariyoshi. So, maybe later in the channel, we might try um, special rolls or something different. Yeah. Okay, let's get right into it. So, you want to start off with something basic like the tuna? Sure. Okay, I'm going to use my chopsticks. I'm, I'm not really good with these, so if I mess up, just, yeah, I might mess up. So just be ready for that. Wait, do you want soy yeah, sauce? Oh yeah, let's ma put, make, put soy sauce. I'm gonna put mine here. Where should I take? Okay. Okay. How much wasabi are you gonna put in your soy sauce? Maybe not that much. I really like wasabi, so I'm gonna put a lot. Okay, I'm just gonna okay. put this on the side. Um, and take the wasabi. Yeah. There's some right there. Yep. Okay. Hopefully, don't mess picking this up. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. I might switch to the fork. There. That's good for now. And I'm almost done mixing it up. Here, I'll put okay. this on my plate. So first, we are trying the tuna roll. Yep. So all it has is seaweed around it with some rice and the tuna, obviously, in the middle. So um, what I want to do is actually, I want to try it first without the soy sauce, then the second one with it. Okay. You don't have to do it, but that's just what I want to do. I'll try it with the soy sauce. Maybe I'll bite like half of it without <laughs> I, it's okay i like it yeah i've had this um a lot of i yeah i had this a lot but it just like it's always there it's a go-to sushi yeah this is one of the sushis we get the most from any japanese store yeah Not because we like it a lot and it's really good yeah it's basic but it's good i'm gonna try it with the soy sauce now It mixes, like it? Yeah, it mixes really well with the soy sauce. What would yeah. you rate the tuna roll? Probably um, 7.5 to 8. Really? I would rate yeah. it probably like a 9. Because like, it's really not basic, but like it's really good. Yeah. And it's something we usually get. So to us, it's kind of basic. So I would rate it highly because if we get it a lot, we must like it. And we do like it. I, I rated it um not that high. Well, seven point five to eight. Yeah, I rated it not that high because I don't know. I just I just don't really I like it, but like it's not like one of my favorites. Like I'll eat it, but I like it. I'll eat it, but it's not like one of my favorites. Okay, you gonna try the California roll? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing like last time, and let's hope I don't fail on like the tuna. This one here has rice with seaweed in the middle surrounded or no in the inside it has avocado and crab and some in some of them it's surrounded by sesame seeds his had more sesame seeds which i saw yeah so i had it without the soy sauce and i honestly 
I don't really like the sesame seeds on it, but everything else is fine. I don't know why. It just, I don't really like the soft sesame seeds on it. I would definitely take it without the sesame seeds. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, I messed up even worse than last time. So I just cut it like, uh, <laughs> uh. I'm a big avocado fan. So I really enjoy how soft the avocado was. And it wasn't like too hard that like it was really not tasty to get in. And it was really good all together. And I don't really eat that roll a lot. So after like eating it for some time, after not having it so much, I really enjoyed it. I don't eat avocado at all, but the the avocado mixes really well with everything else in there. And that's really the only time I eat avocado. Huh? And I like it. I, what would you rate that? I would probably rate it still a 9 because I really enjoyed it. Like, it, I may like it even more than the tuna, to be honest. Yeah, I like this. I definitely like this more than the tuna. I would rate it about like an 8.5. I may have to rate the tuna now like an 8 and the California like an 8.5 or 9. Yeah, I keep the tuna 7.5 to 8 and the avocado and that's crab, right? Yeah. Yeah, I would rate that a 8.5. Okay, let's get into the yellowtail. Yeah. So the yellowtail has seaweed around it all with rice and then the yellowtail fish in the middle with some greens in it. Let's get into it. And again, I failed. So, without the soy sauce, it just, to me, it's like the tuna, but just with like a tiny bit different flavor of the yellowtail. I kind of like, it's not my favorite sushi, I would say. Yeah. It's, I, I like it less than I do the tuna. It's like, if I had to get it, I would eat it. But if I had a choice, I wouldn't. It's just not tasteful in my palate. Mm -hmm. Give me a second to eat this and I'll say what I think. If I were to rate it, I'd probably do like 6.57. Because after like the first, once I had the first bite, I didn't really like it. But like it was fine. So it doesn't really get a high rating, nor does it get a really low rating. So, um... I, to me, it's really close. It really, it tastes neat, like, like the tuna, but not the same thing, if you know what I'm saying. So, I would give the yellow tail, what did I give the tuna, like an 7.5 to 8? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, I think so. So, I would give this a 7 to 7.5. Because mm. the flavor is still like the tuna, but I like the tuna a little more. Oh really? Yeah, yep. me too. What was your um yellow tail score? I I was like six point five seven. Oh. Yeah. So next one is the you have more sauce by the oh. way. I'll put that in for now. And the next one we have here is the salmon one. Salmon roll. And all it has is seaweed wrapped around rice, which is around the salmon in the middle. Let me wait. And many of these crunches are from this bowl. But it probably just got pushed over due yeah. to either this or it moving around. Okay, so let me get my salmon. Please don't mess up. I'm going to mess up. There. Okay. So, I've actually had the salmon before a few times. Well, a lot. And I really like it. It's probably my favorite out of, like, um the, fir the, four, the four we already had. Sorry? No, like... <laughs> It's it's my favorite out of the three we had and the one we're eating right now, salmon. Oh, oh wow. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm having it with soy sauce. I liked it. I'm not a huge salmon and like sushi fan, but it was good. And whenever we do order it, I usually don't eat it. He usually does. But when I do eat it, it's good. I liked it. It definitely has a better rating than the yellowtail, but not as high as the tuna, I would say. So, what I would say was, um, what I'm going to say is, it really goes well with the soy sauce, in my opinion. It probably goes better than all of these. Wow. Yeah. 
and um by itself it's not as good but it's still really good in my opinion mm -hmm. so what did i give this again i, I keep on forgetting i think an 8.5 probably yeah so if i gave this an 8.5 i'd give this like a 9.5 that's really high yeah i really like the salmon are you done with that yep let's get into the spicy tuna so it also again yeah. has the crunch from the uh sunny side roll that's fine and this roll is rice that surrounds the seaweed that surrounds the spicy tuna so i'm gonna have it without soy sauce again so it is actually not that spicy that it's like gonna burn your tongue off but it definitely you can taste the spice and it's just it's for even if you don't like spicy stuff this is nice because it's a little spicy it's not too much not too little mm -hmm. and i really like it i also enjoyed it i'm not like the biggest spicy tuna fan but i really enjoyed that i would also say that that rating i would give it is above the yellowtail and salmon and maybe even equal to the regular tuna that we had i would probably rate it maybe the same as the tuna like i think i gave it like a 7.58 or something but i really enjoyed it it was really good to me i would give it like probably the same as a salmon 9.5 i really like it well that's a really high rating again yep i still haven't gotten back to it. that i still haven't gotten to that high of a rating yet yep so it's time for the special roll well not the special one but the special it's one. Yeah, it's different. Different. Okay. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> That's a lot. Can you get mine from me? I'm scared. <laughs> Hopefully you don't um, drop this. So what it is, oh. is the sushi portion. It's I'm going to get this with my fork. What it is, it's, it's seaweed wrapped around... No, it's rice wrapped around seaweed which is wrapped around avocado and cucumber. And on top you have all the fishes, the yellowtail, the salmon, and the masalgo, which is the kaplan fish. And on top we have the crunch, which is the um, fried batter from tempura. And I think that that's all of it. So this time I'm gonna put um, soy sauce on all of it. I'm not gonna eat it without it. And I'm gonna eat this all in one whole bite. So let's go. One, oh, and on. Uh, I should probably use the fork so I don't fail again. This is a really big one. Yep. I don't know how I'm gonna eat it. You just eat the whole thing? Whoa. I don't know. Okay. Everything uh, off the bat, first time I put it in my mouth, right away, I could tell everything mixed well together. Like the whole time you didn't taste just one thing. It always switched flavors from like the avocado to the cucumber to the crunch to something else. And it's definitely I didn't expect it to be that as good as it was cuz I'm kind of picky in my honestly. So I, did, I wasn't expecting to like it, but I actually like it. I thought it was really good. I also wasn't expecting it to be as good as I thought it was. Yeah. But it was better than expected. I would definitely say that I would give it a higher rating than I would the California roll, which is the highest rating I gave it. I gave any of the sushis before. I would honestly give this a 9.5 again. I would probably do the same. It, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. And I also like the crunch that it has. It has all different kinds of textures, like the rice, which is soft, as well as the avocado, and then the crunch from the cucumber, as well from as well as the crunch from the crunch, and then also that softness from the fish you get when you bite into it. Mm -hmm. So I really enjoyed it. Hmm, what would be like if you had to um, give like a grade from one to ten of like 
all the sushi combined, what would you give it? You mean like all together? Yeah, like an yeah. average. Yeah. Um, I would probably give it maybe like an eight, eight point five. I really enjoyed all of them. It was a yellow tail that I liked the least, but after having all of them, it was really good and enjoyable. Especially the sunny side roll, the last one. I really enjoyed that one the most. My average would be probably like nine. Because even though I the yellowtail was my least favorite, I still liked it and everything else I liked too. So it was a perfect mix of sushi from the salmon to the um, California roll with the avocado and crab. And yeah, it was a good mix of things. Mm -hmm, I agree. I liked all of it. Yep. Even the yellow tail, which I like the least. Yeah. Well, I think that's all for this video. Yep. Thank you guys. Like and subscribe and write in the comments what you think what we should compare or review next time. We'll see you guys later. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye.